Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today I will be reviewing a Monte Cristo number no. 4, 75th Anniversario Desde 1935. Very uh, oily feeling wrapper. Very smooth, very slick. Firm pack. Some minimal veining, not not too bad, but they're definitely there. Uh, seams completely disappear. This is a maybe a tr looks like a triple cap. Okay. Just some general tobacco type notes on the on the nose of the wrapper. A little bit of spice, some real mild like cumin. Maybe a slight hint of cedar in there. Okay. Using my Zycar today. Tool of choice in general. Who draws a little tight? Mmm, tastes like a bowl of chili. Definitely some chili powder type spices in there. Mmm, <coughs> definitely. Excuse me. That's a very forward powerful, very rich and upfront chili type note there. Just uh, really good if you like chili. If you don't like chili, well, you know. Alright. Having some issues with this new lighter I bought recently. Let's see if it's going to work for me. It's trying. may have a, some air that got mixed in there and I was refilling it. Not sure. Don't know what's going on with it yet. I purged it and refilled it again and it seems to have helped but it's still not quite acting right. My initial impressions, not a whole lot of strength, uh, medium plus, or uh, I'm sorry, mild plus, approaching the medium mark. A little bit of a pepper note from the retro hill, going through the sinuses there. A little bit of a glue note. Something else in there. It's a lot of melded together flavors. Not, not quite sure what's going to come forward on this yet. Okay. Well, as you may or may not know, uh, I do not rehearse these uh, cigar reviews. They're not pre-scripted in any way. Sometimes I have had a, a specific cigar that I'm reviewing prior to reviewing that cigar 
so I kind of know what to expect. But uh, even with that, uh, I often end up with uh, different opinions, unless it's a very consistent cigar. So uh, we'll see what I get from this. No uh, preconceived notions. To see what happens. I'll be back somewhere in the first third. All right, so here we are, uh, about 10 minutes in. I've had to flip the camera around, try to get some better lighting as the sun's going down into the trees this evening. I've got a little over an inch of ash. Starting to curve on me a little bit, but the burn line is fairly straight. I'm going to give it a little flip. Yep, there we go. Came off nicely. Picked up in strength a little bit. It's a solid medium in the strength. And the body is uh, probably medium, medium plus. Some mild black pepper notes. That... Uh, That glue note has disappeared. Draws a little tight. Uh, there's really no room to clip any more off the, the cap there. It's about as far as I can go, really. I think there's some mineral trying to come through. It's uh, seems to be the flavors seem to be bound up in there yet. So we'll. Uh, We'll get into the second, third, and we'll be back. All right, 25 minutes in. Have uh, about an inch of ash. Once again, it's got a slight curve to it. Not, not too bad. I'm not sure why it's constantly curving, but seems to be holding on for about an inch at a time, so shortly I will be ashing this. About a halfway point, something like that. The uh, flavor profile is kicked into more of a mineral aspect. Slightly dry rear uh, on the way back rear in the palate. A little bit of white pepper on the retrohale through the nose. Subtle. Strength is picked up, maybe a smidgen bit more. Body's about the same at a medium, medium plus. Not a whole lot going on. Kind of a narrow flavor profile. But, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. Uh, personally, I like uh, a lot of transitions, a lot of very forward, rich flavors. That's just my thing, but uh, nothing wrong with this. Uh, you know, the burn's pretty straight. A little bit of unevenness there, but not too bad. For the most part, the majority of it's real straight, real crisp. You see a crack developing in the ash. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little flip, and off it comes. I'm detecting a slight hint of meatiness trying to work its way forward on the palate. It's very, very subtle, very soft, way, way in the back there. Um, just kind of hiding behind all those uh, mineral notes. See if it uh, manages to come forward or not. So uh, I'll get somewhere in the final third and I'll be back. Right, just about 45 minutes in. I did have a slight issue where right here this side wasn't burning. Um, I was just watching it and then uh, I thought about touching it up. I thought, well, I'll give it a moment. And then it 
it caught up on its own. So it's uh, corrected itself. Right where that little piece is sticking out. I'm go ahead and ash it. Yep, there we go. The final third brought on a few flavor transitions. That meatiness that was trying to come through uh, did come to fruition for a short time. Uh, kind of subtle. It um, had a hard time coming through the mineral aspects, but uh, for a good portion of the uh, final third, uh, I did get uh, some, some nice notes of meatiness. Had a little bit of woodiness in there. Didn't last real long, just uh, one or two draws. The, uh, the bulk of the flavor has been the minerals, so I'll continue this on into the nub and we'll see if we get any uh, pleasant surprises uh, as often is the case in the nub. Be back. Alright, almost an hour in and it just went out. So I'm going to go ahead and relight it. I was getting some uh, nice meaty characteristics to it. It's had lots of smoke output throughout. This is really the first time I've had any issues with the burn. It's uh, been, for the most part, pretty even burning. Uh, it, it did get a little off for a short time there, but it corrected itself. And then just now it went out. And, as I had mentioned, I've been having trouble with this lighter. And I have a, another lighter that I will use. Watch this one give me trouble. Alright, it's working. I'm going to relight this. see this there's these little bumps little bubbles almost as I'm lighting it that would be the oils they're putting out the some nice little nuances I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera but these little little bugs flying around my face I'm going to rip your wings off. Anyway. I'll go ahead and continue messing with this through the nub, but uh, I'll go ahead and end this review here. Saying that this Monte Cristo number 4, 75th anniversario, 1935. Been a real pleasant little smoke. Uh, I mean, really, for for the size, burning for you know, to this point an hour. Uh, not a whole lot of flavor changes. The uh, majority of the cigar was uh, mineral notes. Had a subtle hint of uh, some meatiness trying to come through, and once I got into the nub, the meatiness really ramped up. For the most part, medium body, medium strength pretty happy with it. See a crack in the ash developing. Yep, came off. Tried real hard to keep this review short. They've been pretty lengthy. So, uh, there you have it. Thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. See you next time.